Okay, uh, I'm actually selling this really cool Kenny Hill guitar. As you can see, I have too many guitars here, but I really love this one. I just want to make a little video showing you uh, some of the things I really like about it. Um, and it's a pretty unique one. I've owned a bunch of different Kenny Hill guitars. In fact, if you look through my channel, you'll, you'll find uh, some videos. And I haven't seen one quite like this. Although nowadays, as a little aside, Kenny Hill does make uh, some other ergonomic model guitars. This one, however, is from 2011. And now it's called the ergonomic model or stand-up model. It's one of his signature models. And what's so cool about it, I'll start with my favorite thing, is this armrest that the guitar has. And actually, take a look at it, at it close up here. Can you see how it just carves away into the guitar there with that beautiful wood? Um, that's what I really like. It feels really comfortable, but it's not a sacrifice to making it look like some sort of like cutaway guitar, right, for the left hand that you've seen or, uh, or, or some sort of hybrid guitar. It doesn't look like that. In fact, from a little bit more of a distance than this three foot away camera, uh, you really don't notice that there. Maybe you don't even notice right away in the video. However, it makes it so much more comfortable for your arm when you play. And I, I really do think it's the future of uh, classical guitars. And, you know, some people might say that it takes away from the sound because it cuts away just a little bit of the soundboard there. But, uh, you know, it's not something that I notice. I don't feel like this guitar is lacking something because it has this. It just feels like all a plus. Also, it has uh, these sound ports here as well as these input jacks. Well, input jacks. This one's the input jack. The other ones are in pins. Um, so it's, you know, partially called the stand-up model here because I know Kenny Hill himself uh, does a lot of practicing standing up and actually I'm seeing a growing number of people doing this, at least spending some of their practice time either sitting down with the strap with their feet off a footstool or using the guitar supports or standing up just for a break for our backs. And I've got to tell you, it's a really nice thing to have. And I'm glad to not do it to one of my other instruments because this was built with this on here. You know, obviously it can be removed. It being here is so nice because it doesn't interfere with any of your playing. It's not like when you shift up the neck, you feel it. I don't even feel it with my hand right here. And the other awesome thing is that this jack doubles as an output jack for the internal miking system, which is awesome. Of course, if you're doing a lot of gigging, um, uh, you know, you might have a gig guitar with a, uh, some sort of electronic system, but it's really rare to have a nice concert model guitar that has such a high quality miking system built inside of it. So if you go play somewhere, you can do such a professional setup instead of having, you know, a huge microphone stand and all the sound checking that you have to do that's involved with playing with a mic. So that's a really, really cool thing about it. But obviously, it's all about the sound and how it plays. I wanted to play for you a little example of uh, this guitar and something that highlights the characteristics that I really enjoy about it. First off, it has such nice sustain and even projection. Let me show you this. Right? How about that first string? And these are not some high tension carbon strings. These are normal tension D'Addario nylon strings. So I mean, the second string sounds just like the first. Listen to this. So I think this guitar really shows off the, uh, the fact that it's a double top and that it's a spruce top and cedar underneath. You hear some of these dark characteristics, but it still maintains its clarity. And I'll be honest, these aren't the newest of strings.
So on that D minor note, I'll just play you a little piece here and uh, just trying to demonstrate some of these characteristics, like I was saying. So pardon me for taking uh, my time on some of those notes like this. These Fs and Gs because they just last forever on this guitar. Anyways, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should show you. It does have the raised fingerboard. Of course, that makes it so easy to play um, when you can just reach up really high like these high Bs and everything just are, are much easier with those. Big fan. Um, Basically, all the guitars I play on and enjoy have that raised fingerboard. It sort of feels like a no-brainer. Why not have that? And then there's a look at the back. It's uh, nothing too special. It's Indian rosewood. It's not like a, some crazy-looking Brazilian rosewood back. But you can see, it's got some really nice color, and this is just indoor lighting. Nothing, uh, no special filters on this or anything. Um, Anyways, it's a really gorgeous guitar, just thought I'd show you, and uh, yeah, look out for the next video. I might make one on one of these guitars here. Thanks.